Daniel, uh, are you there? Yes, I hear you loud and clear, Jenny. I have arrived at the destination. Good to hear you voice, Daniel. Just follow the road ahead of you and you will reach the weather station. River Tide Creek. Only two hours drive time. I know you don't like the long drives, but you will just have to get used to it. Our new client want weekly security checks on their facility, and that's just what you provide. Well, you couldn't be happier when you're going to hear my jokes for a few hours, couldn't you? Well, lucky me, I will only be guiding you through your first shift at your new location. Hopefully, I survive your dry jokes. Okay. You seem to be eager for a joke, so here's one for you. How do trees access the internet? Oh, so there's a turn-off button on this radio. They log in. That's enough. You can reach me when you have a question about the security check. Wow, that's a different smell. Someone must have forgotten to flush. I've reached the gates. So, if you would be so kind to open them remotely from our cosy and warm office while I'm out here in the storm, it would be very nice. Someone's a bit bitter today, but I'm feeling kind. Give me a minute. Well, that's strange. I have no connection to the gate. I'm sorry, Daniel, but you will have to go check the power. Just follow the road to your right. What a nice surprise. Now it should be up and running. Yes, I have opened the gates. That power shouldn't have been off. So be a bit careful. There's a trailer out here. Do people live up here? Yes, but not right now. They are working on another weather station and will first continue here next summer. By the way, in case you want to reach your surveillance room before the rain starts, you better move faster. I gave you the key to it this morning. I hope you haven't lost it. You think me, Daniel the Mastermind, would ever lose something? Daniel, the mastermind who is the only worker who has lost his office card four times. I'm just a little bit curious of why they need me. I mean, a weather station don't seem that important to have a security guard surveillance it. What I heard, there were some kids trying to break in here, and that's why the company wanted surveillance. But it seems a bit strange that kids would travel two hours to try a break in here. Yeah, even I struggled driving two hours. I've reached a container. 
If this is where I'm supposed to spend the night, I'd rather drive back home. You're absolutely correct, Daniel. That is your room for tonight. So get in there, start the computer, and relax. Yeah, lucky me. This is actually not a bad setup. So what do I got my eyes on here? First camera, you have the parking lot. Second, the power switch. Third, the gate. Fourth, their warehouse. Fifth, the weather station. And last, the radar. You basically only have to check the three first. Copy that. So the more important question, have they left me any snacks or coffee? Well, Daniel, I'm supposed to guide you with the security. Not know if they left some food for you. You will just have to go check it yourself. Let's start with the fridge. Ooh, jackpot, except for that chicken leg. Now let's see if there was any coffee left in that machine. Seems to be working. If I could just find some snacks as well, my night here wouldn't actually be so bad. Mmm, smells like the coffee is finished. So, how's life going, Jenny? Except for these wonderful night shifts. Life's been quite the roller coaster lately. But I guess that's what keeps it interesting, isn't it? Yeah, I hear you. Anything specific on your roller coaster recently? Well, my brother, who I have barely had any contact with since we were teenagers, recently reached out to me a few months ago, and we have started speaking again since then, which makes me very happy. That's great to hear, Jenny. Thanks, Daniel. And what about you? Something fun been happening lately? Oh, not much. You know the usual, taking walks with Milo. By the way, he has started behaving very well when he meets new people. Before he always got so nervous and barked, but that has stopped. So I'm very proud of him, and not to forget, I have also visited my parents. It was a long time ago now since I visited them, so it felt really good to see them. I miss seeing that dog. You have to bring him to the office again. Just so you know, there's been a misunderstanding in the office, and we're one person short. I'm going to make some calls and see if someone can come in. I hope you can survive without me for a few minutes. Yeah, I will probably get murdered in the meantime. Even coffee can't keep me from being tired. A quick nap can't hurt. <sighs> Oh, there it is. Can't forget Milo's favorite ball. Ain't this weather sweet, Milo? This is the last throw, then we gotta head home. What the fuck was that sound? Jenny, can you hear me? This fucking radio. Just hold it steady. Security here! Show yourself!
Must have been the wind. Right? Anybody here? Hello, little friend. Was it just you that made those sounds? I guess so. Ah! Are you there? I think someone hit me in the head. Not one of your jokes now. I'm really not in the mood. I'm serious, Jenny. Someone knocked on the door and I followed the person to a lake and then the person jumped me. What the hell? Have someone broken in? You better hurry up back inside. You can't escape from your past, Daniel. What the hell does that mean? Jenny, someone left a note on the door. A note? What does it say? Just some nonsense. Who would even do this? I don't know. Just get inside and lock the door. Jenny, someone set fire to my car! Jesus Christ, this can't get any worse. Quick, get the fire extinguisher and run to the parking lot. Out of my head. Did you manage to put out the fire, Daniel? Yes, but the car's destroyed. It will never start in this condition. Yeah, I figured. I called the police, and they are on their way to pick you up. If you have the energy, you can start walking to the road you came from when you were driving here. Almost there. Just a few minutes left to the bigger road. What's that sound? Feels like it's coming from the playground. I should check it out before I'm moving further. Do it. Reporting live. Sadly, a car crash killed a child of three. It was a hit and run, and the police have not identified the driver. Prayers to the family. What the fuck is going on? How can someone even know about it? This can't be real. How did someone find out? Jenny, is the police getting any closer? Yes, they are almost there. Keep on moving and you will soon meet them.
The police is here now. It's been a rough night. Thank you for all the help, Jenny. No worries, Daniel. Get home safe now. Daniel, I have been longing for this moment. Didn't think it would be this easy for my sister to get you in this car. What are you talking about? Who are you? So naive, Daniel. You seriously didn't think we would find out? I... I... I don't know what you're talking about. Stop stuttering. You know damn well what I'm talking about. The police never found out who it was. The driver that killed me and Jenny's little brother. However, I started doing some digging of my own, and it happened to be a security camera not far from that place that caught a car linked to you, Daniel. I... I was just a kid. I've carried that guilt with me every day since. I didn't know what to do. I was scared. I wanted to go back. I'm so sorry. You being sorry doesn't change a damn thing. You know, Daniel, I almost wish you were there, so you could feel our fear. After the car crash, the engine on our car started burning. Our mother and father managed to get me and Jenny out fast, but our little brother was still stuck in the car. The fire had grown so big that our parents couldn't help him anymore. We had to listen while he screamed our names and begged for help. And you pity yourself? How ironic. Now it's time for you to suffer. <laughs>